15 hundred rupees and probably 20 minutes that's all i need to get started with my home garden today hey guys nikhil here from home banao i have never ever planted a single plant in my life and today is the first time i'll be attempting to plant a cherry tomato plant in this video i'll be doing the unboxing of the pot and bloom cherry tomato grow kit this is the first time i've attempted gardening ever I'm really interested in doing it. I want to set this up in my house balcony. So let's see what's in the box. Let's see if I have everything I need to get started with gardening. So I purchased this grow kit on Amazon. Recently, I had seen an ad on Amazon when I was just searching and researching on gardening kits. And uh, this was a relatively new product. I think they launched it just a couple of months back. And I wanted to see what all comes in the box. So Pot & Bloom guys have not sent this kit out to me. I actually ordered this on Amazon. You can see the receipt right here. And uh, I found this when I was researching on home gardening. I wanted to actually start posting some videos of home gardening on home banao. I've never put up a single video on gardening. So this is my first attempt. But hey, home gardening is an incredible trend. And uh, I would like to start my home garden as well. Let's see what comes in the box and let's see if I can get started with home gardening ever. So very quickly in the box, this is pretty much the size of a small, you know, box of an iron uh, which comes along. It's packaged really nicely. On the box, it says fill the pot with pot mix, then cocoa peat. Put your water on the cocoa peat and put the seed after it rises. Take good care with maintenance. The seeds will start germinate, germinating in 8 to 10 days. Interesting, okay. They say it's natural cherry tomato grow kit. So I'm assume, assuming that there's no chemical or pesticides. So the things which you get in the box are a pot, a plate, some seeds, natural pot mix, natural nutritional spray, protection spray, nutrition powder and germination coco peat coin. Now you need to understand one thing, I am a complete nobody when it comes to gardening. So I am not sure if this is all I need or if I will need more things for my gardening. Uh, they have said it is also eco-friendly, child-friendly and pet-friendly. So let me just unbox the pot and mix gardening kit. So I'll show you some close-ups as I'm doing the unboxing. Uh, I mean, I'll record it after a second. So, okay. The box comes with this really cool handle. And let's see. Okay, so we are out of the box. First things is I notice the organic pot mix this is about 850 grams so i'm assuming they have given it with the perspective of this itself so let me keep this aside here next we have nozzle for sprays okay uh, i don't know there were sprays in this oh yeah there was a nutritional and protection spray what do you have here you have something called as the nutrition powder you have some cherry tomato seeds. There's an instruction manual here. We'll check it out in detail. What do we have here? This must be the cocoa peat. Comes in a nice envelope. Let me keep this aside. There's a very cool pot which is included. Pot and bloom is written right here. Very nice emboss. There's a plate. And there's two bottles here. Nutritional spray and protection spray. So let me keep the box aside and let's just see each packet in detail. But first I'd like to go through the instruction manual. So hello and let's grow. We thank you for purchasing the pot and boom kit. Fulfill your dreams of a cute practical home garden full of flourishing flowers, R&D, etc. Uh, there's nutrition spray, protection spray provided in all our kits. All projects are eco, kids and pot friendly. They've given me a list of things which are included in the box. So let me just uh, go through these steps. Cut and open the pot mix pouch and empty the content into the pot. Make a depression of 8 to 10 centimeters depth. Okay. And place the cocoa peat coin in the center. So these are some pretty simple steps. Pour half a glass of water, the cocoa peat will rise. Make one centimeter depression on top with a finger or a pencil. Open the seed pouch, put the seeds and the seeds will germinate in 8 to 10 days. Irrigate the puffed cocoa peat. 5 to 10 ml as and when required. After 20 days of sowing, spray the nutrition spray over the entire plant. 
uh, spray twice, three times before using, assemble the nozzle with the spray bottle. We'll try that out as well. Uh, after 30 days of sewing, take contents and put nutritional sachet. Dissolve in 100 ml of water and pour it around the water. After 45 days, apply the protection spray. After a week of the previous spray, continue using the nutritional spray. Interesting. So benefits of the nutritional spray, nu nourishes plants, macronutrients, benefits of the nutritional sachet, provides essential nutrients and protection spray prevents pests and insects. So pretty cool uh, instruction manual, I must say. Do check it out. I'll, I'll try to scan all of this and show you while I was reading it out so you can actually you know, see uh, what the instructions were. So first things first, let me just check out these bottles. So I guess these are some kind of a chemical inside or some kind of a, I think this is an organic, it's a natural spray. So I guess it's organic and they have put a black color bottle. I mean, I think this prevents uh, sunlight from, I don't know, like I think it prevents the sun sunlight from affecting the spray. And there's a small cap here. Let me actually first check out the nozzles for spray. So, oh wow, okay. So there's two nozzles which they've given me and uh, pretty nice quality material. So let me just try to install one of these. So this is the natural protection spray. Let me try to install it on this. I'm just uncapping it. So there's a small film here. I guess it's done to prevent it's leak proof. And I'm just pressing this in. Yep, it's through. Fits perfectly, the natural protection spray. Let's keep this aside. Let's put the natural natural nutrition spray as well. Okay. Quite interesting, I think. Uh, I mean, it, does it spray? Let me just try. Yeah, sprays. I'll use it on the plant later, but so they have given these two bottles here. Now let's check out the pot. It's, an in, it's a good quality plastic, quite thick. Has four holes. I guess uh, this is to let go of excess water. Again, guys, <laughs> I'm a nobody in gardening. I've never done it before. There's a lot of, if you want to know about, you know, advance of gardening and all those other skills. I mean, there's a lot of amazing channels. I'll try to uh, link them in the description. But I am a complete noob, so I just wanted to get started with gardening and I was googling around and I found this. It has a nice thing and there's a nice plate. So I guess I keep it like this. Uh, let me just open. I will say one thing as I'm unboxing. This packaging is really well thought out. I mean, you know, like I will never confuse this for something else. It's literally written organic pot mix, you know, and it's written in big bowl and very nice packaging. I think this would make a pretty cool gift. So let me just open this up. So they, the instruction manual said that step one is to basically empty the pot mix into the pot. So let's do that. Okay, so the pot mix, I guess, is something like sand. I'll just show it to you once I pour it out into this. That's a lot of sand. By the way, guys, uh, what I'll be doing is because the plants take time to germinate, do subscribe to my channel. I will give you guys an update of, you know, what happens with this because I'm doing the unboxing and, you know, fixing up the plants right now so okay that's about it so yeah i think they measured the quantity and only have given me the pot mix uh, this is what the pot mix looks like as you can see i mean it's pretty much sand i guess uh, i mean if someone can tell me in the description difference between pot mix and sand i'll be more than happy to uh, you know figure it out so i'm just spreading it around making it flat and they said that I have to make a eight centimeter or a, the step two is to place the coco peat coin in the center. So as I said, the coco peat coin comes in this pocket. Okay. It's, it's surrounded by some sort of a tissue. If uh, I don't know what that is, 
but I'll just I've made some space and I'm placing it here so this is what I've done I've just placed it okay pour half a glass of water into the cocoa peat and it will rise so I'm taking some water and what I'll do is I'll just pour it into the cocoa peat okay that's half a glass of water and uh, I don't know if you can see but it is it does seem to be rising it's very subtle I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to wait to place the seed it's rising quite a bit can't I there okay I was just asking my cameraman if he can see if it's rising or not okay so after that make a one centimeter depression so i'll just take my knife and make a small depression okay if there's a <laughs> if there's a better way of doing this please let me know in the comment section below again i'm a complete <laughs> noob in gardening so okay the next one is these cherry tomato seeds there's about one two three four five six there's about seven seeds here and i'm not sure if i should be putting all the seeds in this so i'll just i mean i'm assuming they have measured these things and given so i'll just put all of them into the depression which i created okay there's actually a lot more than seven there's about uh, 10 15 seeds or so so let me just put it here so i've placed it inside the cocoa peat and uh, I guess that's about it. So really interesting product. Uh, I mean, I don't think I need the natural protection spray and nutrition spray right now. Uh, but I think, you know, I will eventually need it. So I purchased it on Amazon, guys. It's available. And uh, again, I think what I'm doing is I just covered the seeds with the sand. So I'm not sure if I should be doing that if I've done that wrong. Please put it in the comment section because this is what I did. I just covered, you know, the cocoa peat coin with the soil. There's no instructions here, but I think you're supposed to cover the seeds with the soil on top. So hopefully uh, that is taken care of. But yeah, that's about it from my side. Hope you like this video. I'll be doing a detail of, you know, how well the plant has grown in a few days. So say subscribe to Home now for that. But an interesting product to say the least. Pretty cool packaging has everything I need, I guess. Because that's, I, I don't think there's anything else in gardening. I mean, you guys have to let me know in the comment section below if there's something else I should be doing to this. But this seems done. I mean, all I had to do was pour in the pot mix, put that cocoa peat coin, put in the seeds and I guess it's good to go. So let's wait for 7-8 days. Hopefully it germinates by then. So hey guys, when I was taking a b-roll for the video, right, I, had, I, I, I just wanted to take some close-up shots of the product for you. But when I was doing that and I had poured some water in the cocoa peat, uh, this is what happened. So if you see closely, I mean, it's <laughs> expanded a lot. Now, I am not sure uh, if I had to wait. I guess that's a small thing. I think after pouring water on the cocoa peat, uh, we should wait for like two, three minutes or something. But yeah, it has expanded a lot. I had already put the seeds. But I think the seeds are submerged in the cocoa peat, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to add this, uh, you know, particular part so that you guys have reference if you decide to buy a planting kit like this. But I think uh, you have to let me know in the comment section below, is this all I have to do to get started with gardening? Because it was damn simple and uh, I think I probably spent like five minutes after I, you know, cut the organic mix packet uh, to just get started with gardening. So pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Do subscribe to the channel to see what happens with this plant. See you in our next video.